All right, let's get started. Uh, Yang, you want to come in? Yeah, oh, okay. So uh, today, Yang and I can talk about um, flexible orders for unknown pages, unknown folios, sorry. <laughs> so um, at the moment, uh, we only support two orders for unknown folios. Order zero and the PMD order. So um, also uh, recent CPUs uh, support the uh, transparent TLB uh, coalescing, basically uh, order three for AMD, then and order four for ARM64. Um, anything um, I missed? I guess that's it, right? All right. So sorry, um, I can. Uh, go ahead. Hi, sorry. This is Ryan Roberts. Um, just just a very minor point. ARM64 actually supports two separate things. Um, the, the hardware page aggregation feature is order two normally, um, and then it supports order four for its contig bit, which is an explicit hint in the in the page table uh, entry. So uh, the uh, continuous continuous block, the uh, first one uh, is not transparent, and that one is order four, right? Let me, let me the, fix that. Let me the fix one this. that's transparent to software, the one that's completely transparent to software is called hardware page aggregation. Right. That is order two. Okay, yes, um, The right. contiguous bit, which is not transparent to software, is order four. Yes, yes, thank you. I just fixed this. So uh, order two for HPA, which is transparent. Um, um, motivation here. Um, Order zero is not uh, scalable, so we have a um, number of problems here. Uh, the first one is um, page faults. So, um, you know, um, Matthew just talked about uh, the um, scalable page faults. That, that, so this one, I guess, uh, is uh, obvious to, to everyone. And the second one uh, is the uh, length of the RLU lists. So basically, you know, on a um, phone, if you have uh, four gig or eight gig um, memory, you get a like, million or two millions of pages on your RL lists, right? And the third problem, um, TLB flash cost. So on x86, so we have to um, do uh, IPIs, and uh, that means for each 4K page, we have to send one uh, IPI to um, flash uh, remote CPU on uh, TLB cache, right? And uh, of course, uh, larger base page sizes would have better performance, at least for some, for some workloads, right? Uh, the problem here is, um, first, we can have um, those larger base pages can have high internal fragmentation because um, user space allocators, they might not be aware of the um, base page size. They might just assume, oh, let's say GE malloc. They might just assume that the uh, base page size is always 4K, right? And also, um, larger base page sizes um, usually require user space changes. Uh, when we do um, linkers, uh, need to um, put um, code sections, need to align code sections, right? For 4K, uh, uh, for um, 64K, uh, we, uh, the linkers would need to um, make sure that uh, different code sections are 64K aligned. So it doesn't want to, they don't want to do this on, with 4K pages because that would uh, waste uh, space, right? So that means we uh, generally would have to recompile all user space um, applications. And then uh, also we need to, uh, the, on the kernel side, we need a separate kernel binary, right? And you know, larger, larger base pages, um, Usually, is a separate distro entirely that includes the user space. So, also, um, mid size folios can be um, a uh, sweet spot, spot for unknown uh, folios. And because uh, unknown folios can handle internal fragmentation, because we don't have, uh, we have, um, we have um, one access bit for each base page which is 4K, 
right? So also it's a transparent to user space. And uh, it's easier to allocate than PMD order uh, when um, there is high external fragmentation. So also, um, mid-size folios can leverage hardware on TIB called lessing. So if you have uh, um, orders that um, match or, large, uh, or larger than the um, TLB current license orders, then you know, the hardware would transparently um, use uh, fewer numbers of uh, TLBs. So uh, we have a uh, to-do list here. And uh, Yang, you want to take over from here? <laughs> you sure? OK, sure. Um, OK. So um, the first one is the uh, allocation policy. I need to see how I do with time. OK, 10 minutes. Um, we want to uh, find suitable VMAs so that we can um, decide um, before or after we have decided uh, what kind of order we want to use for those VMAs because it's basically a chicken egg problem. If you have order there, there if, it, if you predetermine order there and then you can um, say, okay, those VMAs are not suitable, right? But if you uh, look at VMAs first, then try to decide order, then that's um, probably uh, would be a more flexible, but there, there also would be a more um, a complexity there. So also, um, do we want to use a single large order for uh, each VMA, or do you want to uh, use different orders for uh, different VMAs? For different, uh, different orders for, for, for each VMA. So that means um, uh, we're gonna have a um, MP problem. Which generally, it's a bin packing problem, right? So which is MP. So um, also, fallback orders, if we cannot allocate the uh, ideal order, how, how do we handle fallback orders, right? We can start, we probably could start with PMD order and then try um, the uh, hardware um, coalescing TLB order and then eventually fall back to order zero. Or so it, it doesn't need to be a bin packing problem. Uh, I mean, in the general case, yes, it would uh -huh. be the NP hard bin packing problem. Mm -hmm. But um, certainly for the page cache version of this, it, it is not. Um, I, I make the simplifying assumption that a folio must be um, aligned to its size uh, logically as well as physically and, and, and virtually. So if you are allocating a folio of um, order four, it can't start at 15, 14, 13. It's got to start at 0, 16, 32. So that, 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 that's a sufficiently simplifying assumption. It is no longer a bin packing problem. So uh, do we go from other zero and then um, larger and larger, or do we go from a, a large order and then we fall back to um, small orders for a non? Uh, uh, oh, for a non? Um, I, I, I would defer to somebody who understands a non-memory. Uh, <laughs> uh, that is not. So for, 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 for files, um, we actually start out small and increase as read ahead indicates that we're doing a good job with the sizes that we currently are, so we keep, keep going up. Um, I, I don't know that you need to do that. Um, where, where I do see, uh, where, 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 I'm, where I'm handling the part that's, that you're talking about here, um, that is, there's already a folio in the page cache that overlaps at least part of what I'm trying to fill in. Um, I, I allocate the largest possible folio that doesn't overlap any existing folios. Mm -hmm. um, and again, that's, that's not a bin packing problem. That, that's a binary, so binary search problem or even a linear search, which is what I end up doing. So this okay. is Ryan Roberts at Arm again. Um, I just wanted to make a couple of points. Firstly, a, a general point. Um, I've also been working on this area, I guess, completely independently and have a, an RFC out on list, which implements a bunch of this. So it'd be great if we could, uh, you know, maybe collaborate and work together going forwards on, on some of this. Um, and then the, the more specific point, I think what, what Matthew just described um, is exactly, you know, the way I've looked to do it so far, and, and, and it's looked to be relatively low overhead and, and, and efficient for, for making these decisions. 
Mm -hmm. So uh, is this uh, adaptive uh, heuristic or um, so how, how, what kind of behavior, behavior would we expect uh, under memory pressure? Because if a system is not under memory pressure, I, I, I guess, you know, it's not a problem. But if it's under memory pressure, um, how would uh, this um, heuristic um, behave? That's, that's my um, central question here, actually, um, for um, this policy. Because uh, you know, uh, if a system is not, not under memory pressure, that means we can always allocate um, memory, right? L larger orders. But if it's under so, already, so if we, oh, go ahead. Sorry, I was I was going to say so. So I, I think if we assume that this sort of, you know, if we're not allocating PMD sized chunks, then we're we're doing PT mappings, and probably. You know, we're at a fairly low order to begin with, maybe order four, something like that. Um, I would suggest the, the way to do it is to to attempt to order, uh, to attempt to allocate your order order four. Well, you have to determine the, the the highest order that you think you can allocate, and then attempt to allocate that. And if right. that allocation fails because of memory pressure, then you can start reducing your order back to zero until you end up just with a zero order page, you know, the, the old path, as it were. Mm -hmm. uh, so for memory pressure, it's uh, also uh, the other story is uh, how to reclaim from uh, from the larger folios. And um, if reclaiming re requires some allocation of uh, more metadata, then that also can be some problem because we are trying to free some memory, but then by freeing memory, we actually have to uh, allocate more memory. Right. So uh, yeah, we, we're gonna uh, touch on this part because uh, uh, oh, okay, probably uh, will be uh, clear uh, later. So yeah, hold on. actually, uh, one more question about the uh, uh, fallback policy. So we could start with the largest order of the when we could hold. But once the, for example, maybe a PMD order, but if the allocation fail, so we have to fall back to a lower order. So shall we try, for example, uh, from order nine all the way down to uh, order zero, and we skip some orders? I think it's a kind of a trade-off between the performance and the complexity. I mean, it, assuming you're using the right kind of GFP flags, like you know, don't don't try terribly hard to start. You know, don't don't go into direct direct reclaim. Let's you know, give me memory if, if you have it. Um, you know, it's it's pretty quick to go into the page allocator and ask for it. But I, I actually think that we haven't asked to the page allocator people, which is, give me a give give me memory, <laughs> right, um, up to this order in size, and it, it will return the highest order page that it can without us needing to go through this loop. Um, I don't quite know what the API for that should look like, but uh, I, I think that's something we can reasonably ask for. <laughs> Apparently, there's another GFP flag use. <laughs> no, you can simply have a new function that does that for you, so you don't have to repeat that pattern all on, all over again. Yeah. The uh, the system daemon above heap actually does this, where it tries to match the order it allocates with. IOMMU sizes, order sizes. So that's one place you can look where code does this today. Mm -hmm. Nice. Thank you. So uh, let's move on. Um, also, uh, we need to handle uh, overlaps. If we, uh, if two threads um, concurrently um, trying to 14 pages uh, in uh, adjacent areas, Right, and then they might both try to allocate large folios, and uh, these two large folios might just overlap. So we need to handle, handle this case. It should be relatively simple, um, but uh, it, is, it is new um, case we need to handle there uh, in page fault handler. Yeah, and the can be on different pages at times, right? Right, and uh, the, I guess the simplest way would be the one that fails to um, map its folio would just uh, go back and freeze folio and try to allocate a small one. 
but uh, there might be, it might not be the most efficient way to solve this problem, but I guess it's quite a simple at the least, right? So uh, you, uh, I, I have uh, one uh, question here. So, so normally today we have the like, uh, like allocation and then the, the fallback kind of a policy, like for example, go for the huge page and uh, fall back uh, to the small page, but, but there is then the background K huge page D or, or something else uh, kind uh, doing uh, the compaction and replacing. So with these multiple like orders, do we expect or do we want uh, that fallback? Like uh, in the page fault, we be very fast, fast failures, but then the background doing more work in replacing not just the, the huge page, but also the higher order or whatever, the mid, mid order as well. So, uh, you mean uh, capability? Yeah, I think we are going to talk about later in the next slides. Collapsing. Yeah. Uh, is it your question, Shaquille? Yeah, yeah. We, oh, we okay. Oh, nice. Thank you. Uh, where are yeah, we? Actually, for the uh, uh, concurrently fought, when one thread when the race, the other thread uh, and the uh, finish the pit fault, the other thread get the pit uh, table lock. It has to check out the PD in that area. The if it found uh, one PD, uh, at least one PD is not nine, maybe at present, it has to. Uh, Kind of bail out to fill out their its own uh, large page and just uh, bail out. I think it uh, should be handled like that. I mean, it's not a different from today when two threads fo uh, fold the same page yeah. in the same PT, just the range might be higher. Yeah. yeah, but you have to, but for current code, you just check one PD, but for this one, you have to check a range of PDEs. Sounds good, thank you. So um, I guess we can all agree on that this is a trade-off between performance and the simplicity, right? Bottom line, okay. So uh, ref count and map count, um, we can probably, I think we should reuse the uh, current um, PT map TCP scheme, and unless you know, we want to invent something entirely new for uh, this work, I guess, you know, no, the answer is or. That work needs to, we, we, we need a new scheme. Um, I, I've sent several emails to the mailing list over the last year or so outlining various schemes. Um, I don't want to take up too much more of this time, okay. but yeah, we probably need a new scheme. All right, <laughs> sounds good to me. So um, also compound map count, I guess there should be always uh, minus one? Yeah, for now. Okay. I mean, like, like I say, this, 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 this needs to be reviewed. Okay. TBD, uh, this one. Um, so we have stats. Um, currently, we have a non huge pages. Do we uh, need a new counter or uh, um, multiple new counters, or you know, we could uh, just reuse um, a non huge pages? I, I guess this, uh, um, it's up to how we define huge. Yeah. Uh, so you, user, users expect to, that to mean PMD size. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I maintained that when I was doing the file, huge pages equivalent, so you should do the same. There, there's, there's a folio test PMD mappable, and, and that's the, the test you should use. Okay, so... Uh, if you have a folio uh, that is 64K... Yeah, uh, a folio that is 64K, I account it um, uh, 16 times, or 32, uh, six, 16 times as, as, as single pages. Uh, I don't count it at all in the, in the huge count. Uh, without uh, new statistics, how user will know that uh, there is some optimization in place with uh, order two or order four pages on? <laughs> that, that's, that's Be because the program runs faster. Yes, I understand, but how are they going to debug why it's, their program is not running uh, faster? Uh, somebody suggested S maps. 
And another suggestion in the room was trace points. Maybe the other way is that we could add more counters for each order, no way. <laughs> yeah, I, I, will, I would know too. Okay. So, so we just support, consider the PMD map the folio is like a huge page. Others that count as a base page. Because yeah. if we support like 10 more orders for a noun, then we get 10 more counters for uh, you know, a noun, and then file, probably double that for, uh, for file, and then we get a new <laughs> page type, and then we triple that. And then there is question what I we're just using that for. We need a histogram. Okay, uh, move on. Um, reclaim. So basically, uh, how we detect internal fabrication. Uh, this is because uh, HPD has an access bit, and uh, based on um, the um, aggregation of all access bits from a large folio, we can determine its utilization. Um, not just you know used or not used, in terms of you know hotness and coldness, right? And then based on this, we need another heuristic to de to decide you know when to split a, a large folio when you know it's partially cold or you know underutilized. So uh, with this um, hardware DLB coalescing, do you still get the separate PD bits? No. Okay. Yeah, that that's the beauty of it. So, what would the, what would be the architecture like architectures that don't have this hardware page coalescing? What would be the order they look at? I mean, there is there is a benefit of reduced number of pages in LRU. How do we figure out the order that help for getting them? We know order zero and order PMD for for architectures. We, who don't, we don't. have. No, the, the the answer is that we we, we simply don't. Um, the, the, we, 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 we shouldn't be changing how we manage memory based on what the architecture can do, because the larger a chunk of memory we can manage, the shorter our LRU lists are. Um, it is up to architectures to accommodate us on this. It's not up to us to accommodate them. Thank you. So I, I kind of have an open question or a, a point I want to make around, you know, part of what I'm trying to do is, is enable the the, the contiguous PTE option for ARM64, which is a, essentially an order for mapping. Um, but with that, um, so, so you essentially get four, 16 pages occupy one TLB entry in the TLB. Um, but with that, you only get one access and one dirty bit for the, for the whole 64K chunk. Um, I, I would personally like to see if we can get to a solution where we can get by with that, you know, one bit of, you know, one access and one dirty bit for the whole 64K chunk, rather than needing um, access and dirty for each 4K subpage. Um, I don't know whether that's going to cause lots of issues with, with our ability to determine reclaim and therefore adds to memory pressure, but I'd, I'd be interested to hear thoughts from the room. Sounds good. Thank you. Uh, nobody in the room has any suggestions at this point. <laughs> oh, right. So uh, swap large folios. Yes. Uh, ETA. When someone does the work. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, moving on. Compaction. Um, we need to support. Uh, compound folios smaller than the uh, required orders. So I think this should be easy to fix. Basically, uh, right now, if we have, if um, compaction hits a compound folio, right, it, it would just skip it. That's, that works fine because, right, because that worked, it worked fine previously because um, compound folios usually are larger than page blocks, right? But now we have um, folios, compound folios that are smaller than page blocks. So we cannot just assume, oh, okay, we can skip this compound folio because and move on to next, right? We should try to compact. Um, we should try to look at the, act, the actual size of this compound folio to determine whether we should skip it. So collapsing, um, we need to A, detect, um, um, find. Uh, one question regarding compaction. Shouldn't it already be a problem with 
file backed. Uh, does page migration still work, or is it also broken? So you place it on so movable and it's broken, meaning we should disable it in any distribution kernel, so what's the deal? I didn't give you a way to disable it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, we, can, we can open bug as uh, and somebody. Uh, yeah, yeah. So uh, collapsing, and first we need to um, find suitable VMAs, and then we need to determine uh, large folio sizes. So that uh, keys, K uh, huge P D won't work against uh, page reclaim because you know, under my pressure, you know, on one side page reclaim tries to uh, split large folios and reclaim them. On the other side, K huge P D tried to merge them or try to collapse them. Right, that'll be a bad situation. So also, uh, we might be able to do in-place in collapsing. That means we don't have to migrate pages, right? It's possible. So, um, but uh, I guess that'll be a low priority task here. Uh, split, and uh, uh, Z from uh, NVIDIA has posted um, split into arbitrary orders. Um, we might take that as well, um, take, a, take advantage of that patch size as well, right? We can, you know, split to from uh, order eight to order four, probably, right? And we don't have to stick with the, you know, um, the PMD order and the order zero. So also uh, copy and write. If we have, if, if we have one PT entry for each of the page, why would we split? Sorry, I didn't get a question. If there is one PT entry for each of the page, uh, I understand if, if there is a PMD entry, uh, splitting is needed. Uh, it's a PMD level PT entry splitting is needed, but for like an order two page, we would have like one PT entry for each of the page in the, in the, in the, mm -hmm. in the higher order folio. When would we split? Why would we split them? Well, actually there are two kinds of split. Uh, the, the first one is the split the PMD, so it will convert PMD to uh, PTs. The other one is a split a huge page. So we are talking about split a huge page. So when you uh, uh, partial, do a partial a map for a range of uh, continuous, uh, for continu continuous range, uh, for this case, you have to split the uh, uh, THP, I think. And for reclaim, if we detect uh, internal fragmentation, we want to uh, split the THP and to uh, maybe smaller orders. So we, we have to split when um, a process partially unmaps a large folio. Doesn't matter if it's PMD mapped or um, multi PTE mapped. Yeah. Like uh, right. M device, uh, might we don't need um, M lock, you know, uh, lock a uh, partial of the range, we have to split. Does it make sense? And uh, memory failure, yeah, a lot of cases okay. you have to split the THP. Okay. So uh, probably, uh, I guess I have, may have missed some other places that assume the PMD order. So we need to fix uh, those places as well. And uh, yeah, we are running right out of time. So any questions? Three minutes? Oh, nice, thank you. More questions? I was just gonna make the point that I think um, there's some M advice Places in M advise that, that make assumptions about PMD size as well um, that, that would be currently broken. I don't mean uh, made way collapse. Uh, for for trying, if you're doing a, a don't need, I, I think um, at the moment a, a non PMD size large folio would end up getting skipped and, and not not freed or whatever, whatever don't need actually is supposed to do. Uh, okay, uh, I think we'll just uh, look into the code to, to see uh, where we need to, to fix. Nice, so more questions. Um, Ryan Roberts from uh, ARM uh, has the uh, RFC patch set on this work. So uh, please take a look and uh, comment on that patch set. Right, thank you.